ax plus by plus c equals to zero. This is point P, and perpendicular. This is foot. This is top of perpendicular. This is foot of perpendicular. This is h comma k. We have to show that the condition should be this one. H minus x one by a equals to k minus y one by b. To prove that one, first we have to draw this one. PQ is perpendicular to this line. Okay. Now. Q H comma K lies on Q is on which line? Yes, A X plus B Y plus C equals to zero. This implies this value substitute in place of X and Y. Whenever any line, any point lies on the line, you should substitute the value on the line. That will be equation number one. Clear? Clear? Yes. What we have done? PQ. Then Q lies on the line. We have started by taking that. Whatever lies on the line, that is our first step. Now P P Q is perpendicular to the line, so we can write P Q is perpendicular to A X plus B Y plus C equals to zero. This implies slope product equals to minus one. M one slope of P Q because P and Q is point. Those are points y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 is the slope of this this line. Product into m2, m2 is this line, line form already, not in points form. So the slope of the line form is minus a by b. This is the slope of two points. What are the points x1 y1? x2 y2 is different. So first we can change this x2 y2. y2 minus y1, a minus y1. By x2 minus x1, h minus x1. This minus cancel. This you are going to consider in a bracket. A by b equals to one. Now if I cross multiply this, this will go that side. H minus x1 into b is equals to this one. A minus y1 into a. H minus x1 by a is equals to k minus y1 by b. Check the answer. H minus x1 by a equals to k minus y1 by b. We got the answer, but we have a third term also. So what we do? Whatever remains, let h minus x1 by a equals to k minus y1 by b equals to any value because three terms are there. These two terms already we got by taking product of slope minus one. We need three terms. That's why we have to let whatever we got. That equals to one more value. That value equal to lambda. Now, this is our actual question. We can say consider the second one. Now we'll simplify this. H minus x1 by a equals to lambda. In bracket you can do better to do in bracket. And next one is k minus y1 by b equals to also lambda. This implies if we cross multiply h minus x1 equals to a lambda, then K minus y1 equals to b lambda. Again, this implies h equals to k lambda plus x1. K equals to b lambda plus y1. Check it out once again. For this theorem, what they have given? Q lies on the line. We have taken Q on the line. Then P Q is perpendicular to this point. We have to take m1 into f equal to minus one. Slope of P Q point forms formula. Slope of this line, line form, formula minus a by b. This is also slope formula. This is also slope formula. Both slope formula we have to multiply, cross multiply. We got the answer, but answer has three terms. So that what we have to do in order to get the answer, we need to take one more term equals to lambda. Then equal first value with lambda, second value with lambda, and take two points. Substitute that h k in first equation. Put h k in one. So this implies a into h 
in bracket plus b into k plus c equal to 0. Now if I multiply this a square lambda plus a x1 plus b square lambda plus b y1 plus c equal to 0. Now lambda common a square plus b square equals to these three terms goes that side becomes minus minus b y1 minus c divided ok not divided therefore lambda value equals to minus common by whatever multiple a square plus b square goes to the denominator this will be our third equation product of slopes equals to minus 1 then whatever we got we have taken lambda then in bracket we have equated first one with lambda second one with lambda then we got the values of h and k once we got the values of h and k substituted in first equation and we got the value of lambda once we got the value of lambda substitute lambda in this second one put lambda equals in second h minus x1 by a we can write like this k minus y1 we have to consider a bracket is to be equals to lambda value lambda is minus ax1 plus b by 1 plus c divided by a square plus b square this is known as put of perpendicular theorem why it is known as theorem because we have to start by taking this if they are perpendicular their product is minus 1 that concept we have to remember got it you want to copy this one or else you want to do the next one. Image is there for you. Image theorem. You, know. you can copy it after seeing the recording. Okay. Q h comma k is image of the point p x1 y1 on the line then h minus x1 is to a equals to k minus y1 is to b equals to minus 2 into so same problem but we have minus 2 given to us what is the meaning of image first check it out image is if this is point p x1 y1 this is image of p means these two distances are equal image is h comma k. This line acts as mirror in between them. ax plus by plus c. Hmm? Yes, you can say reflection of point p is this one. Reflection is image, other means. So, this value we have to consider m here. What is m? We can find that m is midpoint. Midpoint of whom? p and q. So, midpoint of p and q, how to write this x1 plus h by 2 comma y1 plus k by 2 ok now I am rubbing the question from so where we have started check it out this is image point p image of point p is q previously it was foot of perpendicular now once we have p and q immediately find m by taking midpoint formula what is the midpoint formula first one plus first one by two second one plus second one by two center once we got midpoint m lies on the line now m what is the value of m lies on When the line point lies on the line, we have to substitute this value in place of x. And in place of y, y1 plus k by 2. A is multiplied to both. 
B is multiplied to both the terms. Now taking LCM. Two C equals to zero. Then this two is cross multiplied. After LCM, it is cross multiplied and zero into anything is zero. This is our equation one. Now again, what we find? PQ is perpendicular to the line. These two lines are perpendicular. M1 into M2 is minus one. M1 into M2 minus one. Cancel everything. Then we are equated. We got H and K value. We have to substitute H K in one. So by substituting H K values in equation one. Check that. What is that equation one? A X one plus A H A H means A is multiplied to H A X one A is multiplied to H plus B Y one plus B K B is multiplied to K B into B is B square B into Y one is B Y one then plus two C equal to zero now we have taken Lambda common a square plus b square plus one more thing I am doing here a x one is two times two a x one b y one is two times two b y one two c is anyhow two c equals to zero. Now lambda into whatever value equals to minus two a x one minus two b y one minus two c. So lambda equals to minus two common. A x one plus B y one plus C divided by A square plus B square. This is our equation number second. Third. Now what we have done? Two third in second. X minus X one by A. Equals to k minus y1 by b equals to minus 2 into x1 plus b y1 plus c by a square plus b square. This is image formula. Okay.